Well, that's not too bad of a view. All right, so we got day two, new gym. Got to weigh in. Got different shoes on. That shouldn't make too much of a difference. We got there. 2.0. Let's just double check. Always good to double check. Anybody weighing in out there? If you get a repeat reading, you did it right. Nice, 192. All right, so I'm actually happy with that because I've been fluctuating between like 189 and 190, so yeah, it's starting to come together out there. But anyway, if we can stay out of the 180s, I'd be happy. All right, a little tip here for the uh, front squats. Get some chalk, throw it on the shoulders like so. Give you an extra 10 pounds, maybe an extra two reps so that bar doesn't roll off as easily. All right, so here's the plan for uh, day two, new gym. Path to 200 up there, 220, maybe someday. We've got front squats, 255, 10 plus on the reps, eight plus on the second set. I like to leave it open just in case 10 feels super easy. Do a couple extra. And we got some single leg calves. Gonna pair those with the front squats, 85 pounds, one hand, 15, 12. Then we're gonna move on to heel elevated squats. Going a little lighter on those because I haven't done heavy back squats in a bit. So these are gonna be more quad focused, less glute as opposed to a typical squat. And then we got some body weight double calf raise. Those are just gonna be for unending reps, just destroy them. Then we got some forearm work, reverse barbell forearm curl. Doing three sets of 30, big focus on the squeeze, stretch with those. Then we got some, that's uh, on its own, not paired with anything. Then we got single arm, dumbbell, forearm, reverse curl. Ooh, I was drifting a bit there. Um, 22 pounds, because that's the, the dumbbell weight that I have. Four sets, 15 to 20 each side. Let's get it. So those heel elevated, closer stance, back squats, lots of fun. A little bit uh, tough on the knees. If you don't have great knees, I would avoid them. Feels great on the quads though. So now we're on to those uh, double calf raises. Probably won't put those in the video because kind of boring. Basically just um, instead of the single leg ones I was doing, got both feet working, lots of reps, burn out. All right, we did a set of calf raises. I think they're growing. 
had to work for a while to build up the calves. It takes a lot of sets, a lot of reps, and they recover really fast. So unless you're training them often, they're not going to grow. They're growing. They're getting there. That feels better. Stuff. All right, so we uh, trashed the legs in a good way. Some front squats, some heel elevated uh, back squats, and plenty of calves. So now we're on to forearms. Going to start off with some fat grip holds. Actually, I forgot to write that in the uh, on the chalkboard there. I had it in the plan. Um, so those are a ton of fun. Great for forearm development. Great for grip. You'll see. So the fat grip holds are actually pretty basic. I've actually got the fat grip extremes because the regular fat groups got easy, so I had to upgrade. So I've just got 55 pounds here, and what I'm going to do is just try and hold them for 30, 40 seconds. I'll just show you one sec because obviously me just holding the dumbbell is not super interesting, but just so you get the idea of how it works. You can do them standing, you can do them seated. Uh, Easier than they were. All right, so now we got three sets of those barbell reverse forearm curl. I'll show you one set because they're all going to be about the same. I'm trying to get 30 reps. 25 to 30 reps. Stretch, squeeze and hold, similar principles, higher rep because using the forearms all day, every day. So you gotta do something kind of outside the normal rep range, at least that's what I have found. 10 to 12 reps doesn't work so great. Maybe you can do 10 to 12 reps with like six to eight sets. But anyways, higher reps for forearms. Same principle with calves generally.
Guys, I think it's infected. There's something in there. Uh. Yeah, it's just lighting. There is something in there. <laughs>